Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. Once again, it's your man, Kieran Tross, here as your host. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to create network security groups. As always, you know how my how-to videos are, short and sweet. So let's get started. So open up portal.azure, and then what you're going to do is click on network security groups. Once here, we're going to click on create. And as always, you need to apply to a subscription. And then resource group, we're going to apply it to RG West US. You can apply to whatever resource group you have in your lab. And then for the name, I'm going to put in NSG dash uh, virtual machines. Because this is going to be the network security group for our virtual machines. And then the region is going to be West US. We're not going to put any tags. We're going to click next and we're going to click on once the validation is done. We click create. So we'll give it some time and as the deployment goes through, deployment is done. And then when we come back, we can network security groups. Okay, so the network security group is now created. So if we click on it, we can see inbound security rules, which is the basic, this is the default. You're gonna always get this when you create a new network security group out of the box. Outbound security group, same thing. If we click on overview, we can see our resource group is RG West. The location is West US 3, subscription. We get all that good stuff. So that is normal, but the job is not completed because this network security group is not associated with any subnet. So we can associate it here. And I can say VN West US, and then it's going to ask me what subnet. And then remember, it's supposed to be for VMs. So here I'm going to do for virtual machine and then I click OK. And then once that's completed, now this network security group is associated with a subnet. Okay, Cloud Scholars, let's create another one. Okay, so we have that network security group created, but we need to create another one. So I'm going to come over here, resource group, West US, and I'm going to drop here, and I think we call it NSG dash and virtual machine. So I could call it domain, I can spell controllers and I can just click review and create I'm not going to do any tags and I'm going to click create again So we have NSG domain controllers that is created. Now the last time I went to subnet and then I associated with the subnet. This time I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm actually gonna come out, I'm gonna go to virtual networks. There's always multiple ways of doing the same thing. And I'm gonna go down to subnets. Within subnets, there is my DC, right? If you see, there's no security group associated with it. There's no network security group. This one has one. So I need to say, okay, this one is giving me the name, the subnet address range. I can add IPv6. I don't need to do that. NAT gateway. Here's network security groups. And then now I can click on that one. And there's a route table I could create if I wanted to. But we're going to keep the rest of the information the way it is. And we're just going to click save. So this is another way of associating your network security group with that subnet and there we have it now we have it showing that it has two it has uh two subnets and they both have a, a network security group associated with it so that's pretty much it uh thank you for taking the time to listen to this video if you like this video please like and hit that subscribe button
here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant, and of course, from consultant to expert. See you next time.